oh yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah. I'd work on another portal in a second. But I, yeah, I can't do it, unfortunately, by myself. So, I mean, I like working with, I mean, I can't like make it happen by myself. Well, you must have a bit of leverage at Valve, don't you? You can, you can advocate for it. Oh, I could advocate for it. I would not going to do, I'm not going to help, but I could do it. Uh, uh, it might help a little bit, but uh, the problem is with 300 employees and there isn't, you know, I, I don't know exactly the breakdown, like how many of them are on the production side versus steam business side versus legal ver versus whatever. Yeah, of course. Yeah. There, there's only so there's a lot of opportunity cost to uh, taking, you know, 75 people and trying to get a game made like, so you almost have to take them. You'd have to, it's like a revolution. You'd have to, you'd have to stir up a bunch of people to leave what they're currently working on and come work on something else. In this case, it would be Portal 3. Yeah. I mean, it would be a moneymaker. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're going to, hey, you're preaching to the choir here. You'd make some money. Uh, the problem is you would make money, but is it, what kind of money will you make? You know, uh, are you going to make Counter-Strike Go money? Probably not. Uh, but having said that, maybe every game doesn't need to make Counter-Strike Go money. Yeah, we've got to... Uh, Start Portal 3. That's my message to... Um, let's make it happen. Know, to whoever. If you, anything you can do, let's do it. Let's just make Dave, it Dave, if you're happen. listening. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I am, I am also not getting any younger. Like, we are, we are reaching the point where it's, it's crazy to think. Literally going to be too old to work on Portal uh, 3. So we should just do it. And Desk Job is fun. If you like Desk Job, send mail to Gabe. Yeah, tell him you want some Portal 3. Well... Write in, write email valve. You've got my blessing. Say Ellen wants to do a portal three. <laughs> I never say never because actually a big part of what made portal two work is that when we started portal two, we were like in this mindset of we're going to do this different mechanic. We're going to change it up a bit. People want new things. They don't want the same old thing. And we just, oh, we just beat our head against the wall for six months. And then we started to transition people into these new ideas and that's really when portal two took off. So I feel like if that Xbox port wouldn't have happened at portal two may not have happened. Right. Or it may have happened in this really different way that I wouldn't have been involved in, or, you know, could have come years later. So it's, it's just always interesting. Those weird little lucky breaks that happen that make you like pause and reflect. Um, and that's always been the, the case at, at valve and everywhere I've worked is always this reflection point where you're like, our game is awful. And then you kind of back up and go, <laughs> How do we make our game not awful? And, and we were lucky at Valve that we could do that. A lot of game companies have that inflection point and then their publisher's like, great, okay, bye. And they take it and you know they, they kind of know it's going out the door un unfinished. But we were lucky at Valve, we could always have that inflection point and then kind of sit down and go, okay, let's rip this up. Let's take the good parts. Let's, let's piece it back together. And that always gave us the ability to really make really great products, I think, is that we could take the time to refine what we had and to really sit back and analyze it versus just going, uh, we just got to get this out the door. That's our best shot. Like that's the best we could do in the time we had. 